Welcome, welcome to session the number? Battle of the Burgers, session number four. four. We are now 700 grams heavier. And 16 burgers in, <laughs> and we've tried them all. Today is going to be a hell of a battle. Yes, it's okay. going to be a big battle. Are the contestants some, are very strong. There are some heavyweights. Uh, they're up against the tough yeah. uh, judge, uh, judges, so yeah. let's see. Number one on the grill is yeah. Hassan, the grill yeah. father. Let's do it. My name is Hassan Najah. I'm 43 years old and father of two. I came in today to actually show my competencies in uh, grilling some really nice burgers. I've been grilling for the last uh, couple of years, tried almost everything during COVID. I'm competing today because it's a lot of fun for me and uh, this is more like a passion for me. So I'm not taking anything serious so far. <laughs> but let's see where it's going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some really, really serious burgers today. My burger's name is The Beyond because I believe it's like a kind of a Beyond burger versus what you see normally. And uh, wish me luck. My name is Ziad uh, Mahdi and uh, I'm in the food and beverage business. I was for like 20 years. I recently got out and uh, during Corona, I developed a love for making burgers. I wanted to perfect the burger at home. I didn't want to eat it outside anymore. So I started playing around with uh, different grinds, different sauces, different buns. I'm very excited about uh, you know, cooking the burgers for the judges today, and I hope that they, they like what I can produce. My name is uh, Wissam Abu Haidar. I'm Lebanese. I'm 34 years old. I've been in Dubai for seven years. I used to work as a group operations manager for a hospitality group. However, I have a huge passion for meat. Now I have my own butcher shop and I'm an official butcher. I'm very excited to be here, of course. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to start. My name is Niazi al -Bajri. I'm uh, half Lebanese, half Mexican. My family name in Mexico, uh, the last name is Garibaldi. So we made a nickname for Garibaldi, which is Garibas and that's how the idea of the burger came from. I wish that I can win tonight and uh, I'm gonna do my best. A toasted bun with uh, organic Lurpak uh, butter, onion marmalade, and then on top you have the patty and then you have a top of arugula and they have a sauce, but it's not a spicy burger. The cheese is just an American cheese. One is a bit saltier than the other. And I put the cheese in between the buns because I don't want to overpower it with cheese. The sauce, it's a classic like sour sauce. So that's how I came up with the idea of the two uh, top buns. And that's why it's called bipolar. Two poles. The bun is a handcrafted potato bun without any additives or colorants. A 150 gram beef patty, Italian uh, mozzarella on top of the beef patty, black garlic mayo topped with caramelized onions as well, and we use Lolo Rosa and Lolo Verde as uh, a bit of crunch. One eighty gram brisket, ribs, meat chocks, smoked chipotle sauce, and herby mayonnaise. There's two types of cheese inside: Kobe and Montreal Jack cheese. My own homemade pickles. Hi, I'm Alex Augusti from Just Food DXP. My name is Rob. I'm the group executive chef for a company called Solutions Leisure. Tina Hayel, no garlic, no onions, a food blogger since 2012. My name is Chef Marwan Sardout. Uh, I'm Chef Faisal. I am the executive chef and owner of uh, Lento. Very excited for what's happening tonight. And uh, come on, it's, it's food time. where the beef is very thick and enjoyable. Let's start by the execution. Execution is a little bit, a bit messy. The meat was really, really good. 
he was talking about it. I was like, I don't see, I don't taste it. And then, and then you well, taste it. Yeah. If I if I didn't go deeper it into nice, it, yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't go beyond. That's why it's called beyond. Maybe yeah. that's, <laughs> that's the reason. Well, I think three of them had very positive faces, and two was were more on the you know kind of joker faces, you uh, poker faces. Sorry where you don't really understand what is the reaction. So let's hope it's all positive. I like the idea. Like you got to do something to stand out. The two top buns. I mean, it, it didn't from a taste standpoint. It didn't really change the taste of the burger. I like a sesame bun, so it's good to have more of it. It's not smashed properly. Uh, the meat I prefer always to be crispy on the sides. You know, the pressure was uh, was there. Obviously, the pressure was real. I've never cooked on that black stone before, so that was very challenging. I think the most important thing is to know your equipment. I think that's very, especially with a burger. The temperature is key. The cheese, I mean, buffalo mozzarella, you see the melted oil just, just still hard in the middle. Mm -hmm. I bit the first thing, it came out the backside. The patty was seasoned a long time ago, so it's so bouncy. It was a bit challenging uh, when it comes to grilling on a new grill. You need to adapt on it. Uh, regarding the burger, it ended up the way I wanted. I hope I will get a good feedback and a good result. Thank you. He has a story, it's passionate. I felt the story in every bite. He made me travel. I went to Mexico and back, took me to Lebanon and back. It might not be the best burger I've had in my life, but it's good, it's, it, it, it's flavorful, it's balanced. The patty for me is a little bit dry. It's fantastic, I want his recipe. Oof, that was so hard, <laughs> but I like it. It's really nice, the tension. I'm so heat up and uh, I think I did a really good job and I hope the judges will like the combination. And... The scores! The Beyond goes beyond! I'm really surprised. <laughs> I mean, I'm competing with guys that have, you know, serious experience here. So I'm more than happy and more than, you know, kind of humbled by this. So thank you very much. So what a episode. What a session. So much heart, so much passion. Four amazing burgers. One winner for session number four. The burgers tried too hard. A lot of ingredients. Again, this is a burger competition. We're talking about burgers. But we do need that creativity. We need we... creativity, but it's the it's the balance. Uh, right? As it's also like... Chef Reef said, we need that umami, that the umami, punch. Guys, the umami. Where's the umami? Yes, that's you what know? we're looking for. And, and we did get some umami today. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for session number five, five of the Battle of the Burgers. Battle of the Burgers. Elite World Food Championship qualifier. Goes to Dallas. Dallas. And the prize is big, guys. Representing Dubai.